Hi, Gemini's. This is your January 2019 love and relationship reading. And you guys have four jumping cards this time around. Okay. So, um... I'm feeling like you guys are really going through something this month or either this is something that has been lingering on for quite some time with a partner or in a marriage that you're unable to get a handle on. Okay, the first message card that jumped for you was change your focus. And the second one was release. Now, you also had two jumping cards from the tarot deck as well that we'll get into um, in a minute. Now... Um, with this change your focus, Gemini's, I'm feeling like there is something that you need to do for yourself to get you out of this state of mental confusion that you're in. When I was shuffling the deck for you, I was just feeling like some of you was saying to yourself, like, why can't I get the same respect that I give you? Or why can't I get the same treatment that I give you? Like, why am I constantly fighting with you to get something that I give you? You also have release here. So with the change your focus and the release card, I'm feeling like this is something that you can't ask this per your partner for, okay? You have to come with this type of... Um, knowledge or when it comes to change your focus, like you have to do this yourself. And I'm feeling like by you changing the way you look at things and the way you react to a situation, then this may allow this person to um, treat you in a different manner. Because I'm just feeling like you're continuously allowing someone to do something to you that you have control over it. You really do. You have control over this situation, but you just don't really know how. And this is where the change or focus is coming from. So if someone is continuously doing the same thing to you, you know, it's because you're allowing it. But if you change the way you react to the situation, or if you put your foot down and no longer take this from this person, then they can't do anything to you that you don't allow. Okay. So I'm just feeling like this month, some of you are going to be releasing someone or releasing some type of hold that this person has on you, or you're going to be looking at things different because you have this change your focus card here. So I feel like when you start to see things in a different perspective, it's going to start working out for you, okay? Because you may be looking at it um, the wrong way. And when I say the wrong way, I don't mean that you're wrong. I'm just feeling like, you know, there is a way that you can get what you want but you're not focused on that. You're focused on, I feel like you're focused on changing someone else instead of changing how you see the situation or changing how you react to it. All right. So the next card that I have for you is challenging times. Okay, so there is something that you're going through right now that, um, it, you know, it has you just feeling like really sad or feeling really down or you may feel like you have to challenge a partner because you're not getting what you want out of the relationship and it's like you're not willing to back down this time you have your armor here so you're ready for the challenge you're ready for the fight because i'm feeling like you're used to allowing this person um to get away with certain things and now you're tired you know, it's like you're really tired and you're like, okay, this is not going to happen anymore. I'm not allowing it. So, you know, you're going through some challenging times, but I'm feeling like you're ready for these challenges because you're ready for a change. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so you also have seek the truth. So I'm feeling like somebody has been lying to you or you're trying to get to the bottom of something. Um, like someone may even be being two-faced it like they may come to you and promise you something and then they turn around and do something totally different so it's like they're not being the sincere person that you think they are or that you thought they was and I'm feeling like you may even have you may have found out something about this person um, that has you like really really pissed off I feel like some of you are like really really angry with this seek the truth card now, you do have coming together and choose your battles wisely. So, you know, these two cards are sort of like condescending or not condescending, conflicting is what I meant to say. It's sort of like um, 
conflicting because I have that you're going to be coming together with someone and this is saying choose your battles wisely how I look at this choose your battles wisely is that you don't have to make everything an argument you don't have to confront everything like uh you don't have to challenge everything but you don't have to let everything slip through the cracks either Gemini if you feel that there is something that you need to get to the bottom of whether you're going to come back together with this person or not, and you guys are going to work it out, you can't continue to let someone walk over top of you. Because the more you do that, the more you're going to struggle with, it's like, it's like trying to teach someone how to treat you. And I'm feeling like you may be saying to yourself, like, why do I have to teach you how to treat me when you don't have to teach me how to treat you? Like, I treat you good, so I should get the same thing from you. But I'm feeling like you may be dealing with someone who just doesn't know how to do that. Maybe it's the way they grew up. Maybe, you know, they didn't, they, you know, they weren't taught that. Or maybe they were just running over people or just treating people any old type of way like their entire life. And then they run into you. They start dating you. And then it's different from them, but they still have that same mindset. Okay, but um, whoever you're dealing with, I do see with the coming together that you guys are going to be working things out in the end. But I'm feeling like right now you're just not in that mode. It's like you're in fight mode. You're in, you know, you're in challenge mode. It's like I'm seeking the truth about something or I want to see a change in the situation and I'm not going to let up until it happens. All right. So those were your message cards. Now, the other two cards that jumped for you was the eight of cups and you have the ten of swords so you know i'm feeling like you're ready to walk away from a situation gemini because you're feeling betrayed you're feeling stabbed in the back some of you could be dealing with the water sign cancer pisces or scorpio um this could be your energy because of swords or you could be dealing with another air sign a libra gemini or um an aquarius but regardless of the sign um you know, I'm feeling like you're in your head about whether you should leave, whether you should leave permanently, like leave it all behind because you're so tired of going through this same cycle with someone. It's like a cycle that won't end. OK, it could be because of the lunar eclipse that has come in here um, that's dragging these things along slowly. OK, a lot of negative energy. But I'm feeling like this is something that has been going on for quite some time. I don't feel like this is new for this month. And I'm feeling like this is a never ending cycle that you feel like you can't come out of with this person so you're trying to figure out like should i walk away or shouldn't i because i'm tired of feeling stabbed in the back and betrayed all right let's see what else the universe has to say about your love life okay so we have the tower card we have the three of cups and we have the moon um all right, so I'm seeing that there was a tower moment between you and someone. It could have been um, because of a third party situation. Some of you could have been dealing with the Pisces because we have the moon card here. But I feel like there was a lot of secrets. There was lies. There was just a lot of being hidden from you. And I'm feeling like something came out or either your intuition kicked in and you started investigating. You started looking for things like seeking the truth because this card did come out for you so i'm feeling like you know some of you started looking into a situation and you found out something and then you know it's a third party situation or it has something to do with another person but i'm feeling like the partner that you're with they lied about this situation you had the hierophant card in the reverse you had the seven of cups and you had the chariot reverse so some of you could be dealing with the cancer or taurus because of the hierophant being reversed but how i look at these three cards is that you may have found out that someone may have said they wanted to be committed but they really don't want to be committed because they have other options with the seven of cups and i'm feeling like they're looking at their other options or weighing their other options and this is what's keeping you guys from moving forward okay so you have the two of swords the knight of cups you have a lot of cups in this reading. Um, I can tell that some of you are definitely dealing with water signs. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So, you know, some of you could be dealing with earth signs, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn person. But with this Two of Swords, some of you are stuck. Um, You feel like you're at a crossroads about how to handle something. It's like, you know, you don't know which road to take or you don't know um 
how to deal with the situation. But there, I feel like there is something that you're just not seeing here, Gemini. So you're going to have to actually think about what it is that you're missing because i feel like you're missing something in this situation that would actually give you the answers that you're seeking especially with this two of swords also with this knight of cups it's like you want to come in and you want to offer love to this person but you know that it's not a stable situation because the knight of pentacles is here but it's in the reverse so you know it may be hard for you to fix this because you need for this person to get on the same page with you. And I'm just feeling like you guys may be in the same book, but you're on two different pages. Because I'm feeling like somebody wants a commitment and someone doesn't because they have options. Okay. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. And you have the Hangman in the reverse. So I'm just seeing that... Um, you feel like you're stuck like you know like you're trying to hang on to this relationship per the four of pentacles but with this hangman being here i'm feeling like you guys are just stuck and you just don't know how to move forward also when i see the knight of swords i see that somebody's rushing in to tell somebody how they really feel and they're still hanging on to this person and nothing's moving forward so it's like you're rushing in you're having this argument with them and then you're like well where does it go now what are we going to do about it now like how are we going to fix this because somebody is coming somebody has something they want to say and it's not going to be nice because when that, like you can look at this card you can look at this card and it is picture like the look on her face and it doesn't have to be a female could it be a male because these cards are not gender based but somebody has something to say and a look on their face and their hand on their hip just says it's not going to be good but I'm feeling like, you know, whatever it is, you feel like you need to get this out. You need to say what you need to say. You've been holding on to it for so long. But after you say what you need to say to your partner, Gemini, then, you know, with the Four of Pentacles being in reverse, you may want to let this go. But then the hangman... See, the hangman is in the reverse too so i'm feeling like some of you are just tired some of you just want to let something go and you just don't want it anymore it's like you tried to work i'm feeling like you tried to work on it you know what also how i see this is that you may be coming in to tell somebody it's over like you know and they may be taking you for granted like oh well it's really not over you know they're just saying that they say that all the time but i'm feeling like for some of you like really you mean it this time especially if you don't see any changes and if this is not you feeling this way gemini this could be your partner feeling this way about you if they're cross watching um you have the temperance in reverse so some of you could be dealing with a sagittarius you have the ace of pentacles and you have the ten of wands so this is like a heavy burden for you this is something that you've been carrying around for quite some time that's just causing you a lot of anxiety It's causing you a lot of sadness and a lot of drama that you don't need that you don't want to put up with that you don't want to think about on a daily basis you have the ace of pentacles here so i do see a new beginning i do see a door opening up possibly for you guys to reconcile but with the temperance being in reverse somebody's going to need to bring balance to this situation because i don't see that there is any all right so you have the lover's card so you pulled your card in this reading gemini which means your energy is really strong here um and you know it's just about needing to make decisions in your love life you also have the seven of pentacles in reverse and you have the three of pentacles so some of you just don't want to work on something anymore. I'm feeling like your partner may be coming in with that three of pentacles and promising you something and promising that they want to work on this to make things better. But with the lovers and the seven of pentacles, you may be feeling like you don't want it anymore, especially if it's going to be continuously drama or a continuous issues of the same kind. Like everybody knows when you're in a relationship, nothing is ever going to be good all the time you know that there's going to be problems here and there but when you have the same problem continuously all the time and you're constantly talking to your partner or your partner is constantly talking to you about the same thing so it's like somebody keeps doing, i'm feeling like somebody keeps doing the same thing to you and you keep telling this person like stop it like knock it off like i'm not going to continue to deal with it but they continue to do it is how i'm looking at these cards so it's like you need to make a choice on whether you still want to keep this person in your life but i'm feeling like it's very hard to make that decision 
because some of you have been with this person for more than six years. Some of you for more than 10. Um, and it's not easy. It may not be easy for you to walk away. Some of you could be dealing with the uh, Gemini, such as yourself. Well, I see a lot of earth here and I see a lot of water, um, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. All right, so you have the seven of wands here, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have the nine of pentacles and you have the emperor. So I see that some of you are taking back control of your life. If you felt like somebody had control over you or over a situation or someone was just acting out, I'm feeling like you're going to be taking control because you're looking at yourself as being single right now with this nine of pentacles you're looking at the situation like i can do this on my own like i don't need this extra drama in my life i don't need these extra problems this craziness this buffoonery like i don't need it and with the emperor being in the upright you could be dealing with an aries but if not you're taking control back over this situation i feel like some of you have done it already and you don't even know you've done it it's just like you shut down you possibly you're not talking or you're just like, you know what? I'm not putting any more work into this. You have your guard up with this seven of wands. And you may be pushing someone out of your life by just like not even talking to them. Like not communicating right now. I don't feel like some of you, you're not communicating. If you're not communicating with your partner right now, it's because you don't know what to say to them. Because you're so angry about a situation that you're just like, you know what? It's best I say nothing. Because if I say something, I'm cutting. I'm cutting you deep. And you don't even get like how I'm going to come at you. You're not going to understand it. And I'm just going to just be quiet. So some, I'm just feeling like with the seven of wands, the nine of pentacles and the emperor, you're just like, you know what? I'm going to do this silently. I'm just going to take back control of the situation. And I'm going to just let you sit there and figure it out. All right. So you have the six of cups here. You have the eight of wands in the reverse. Yeah. See, there is no communication for some of you. And you have the empress. Yeah. See, okay, listen. This is how I see the situation, Shiva Eyes. Like, there, I see that there is potential for reconciliation because you have the Six of Cups here, right? Possible water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio doesn't have to be. But with this Eight of Wands, if you're not dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, you're not communicating with this person because you're tired of trying to get them to see that you are the damn empress. You're like, I can handle this shit by myself. I don't need you. I don't need you to come in here and stress my damn life. Like the empress is someone who can do it all. She can go to work from nine to five. She can come home. She can take care of the kids. She can clean and all that stuff. Like she don't need her help. She make her own money. Like some of you are the empress and I'm feeling like your partner is going to notice that, but hopefully it won't be too late because looking at these cards, it's like, it may be too late already. You're, you may be just like fed up and tired that you're ready to just leave it all behind. Whether it's a family, whether it's a marriage or a long-term relationship, you're ready to walk away from it. And I'm feeling like some of you are not even communicating it. You're just like making plans. <laughs> like behind the scenes like let me get this in order let me get that in order because he think i'm playing or she think i'm playing and i'm out of here there is potential for a reconciliation though it really is because the six of cups is here but i don't know if you want it you might not want it it's either you don't want it or your partner doesn't want it somebody doesn't want this reconciliation or they may have to think about whether they want it or not like long and hard because somebody is not talking it's like they have nothing else to say it's like, realize who the hell I am or someone else will. All right, so you have the five of pentacles here. So you're leaving somebody out in the cold. You have the two of pentacles. Things are up in the air. And then you have the full card, taking a leap of faith, bringing things back together. I'm telling you, I don't know how this is going to turn out for you, Geminis. I really can't say because I see that you had the six of cups here. And then you also have the fool card, which is taking a leap of faith. So it could go two different ways. It could go that you walk away from the situation and you take a leap of faith with something new and or someone new. Or you could take a leap of faith and try to work this out with your partner after having left them out in the cold per this five of pentacles. Okay. You also have the two of pentacles. So things are really up in the air right now. So there's no way to know like how... Um. Like, you may not know, like, per the two of pentacles being up in the air, I'm feeling like you're thinking so much right now that you don't even know how it's going to turn out. Like, one minute you're like, no, I'm going, I'm out of here. And then the next minute you're like, well, can it work? 
maybe it can work. I don't know. I don't see how it can work. Well, maybe they need to come in and do X, Y, Z, or, you know, possibly I could do like, that's how a Gemini mind works. You know, the duality, the twins, you know, one minute you have that good Gemini and then you have that evil, bad, petty Gemini that's tapping you on the shoulder. Like, no, fuck that. I'm out of here. And then you have the other one like, well, maybe you could st <laughs> stay and make it work. It's not funny, but that's just how Geminis are. Okay. So this is your love and relationship reading for January 2019. I just want to say thank you to everyone who came in um, and ordered a private reading. Everyone who watched my videos. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at my cards never lie tarot. And you know, just keep your head up, Gemini's, because it's got a lot like you got a lot going on here. And I'm sure that you know you're gonna be able to figure it out. And I will see you guys next month. Bye.